Hi hamster lovers and welcome to Pancake's channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the five domesticated hamster species. So let's get started. There are over 20 species of hamster. However, only five species are domesticated and common as pets. The first species I'm going to talk about is the Syrian hamster. It's common that pet shops will call hamsters different nicknames. For example, the teddy bear hamster, fancy bear hamster, black bear hamster and panda bear hamster. They are also called golden hamsters. This isn't as accurate as hamsters have been bred in a variety of different colour types. For example, beige, black, brown, tan, white, grey, cream, blonde, golden, lilac, dove and mink. These are just some of the common coat colours. They are also bred in four different coat types. These are long-haired, short-haired, rex and satin. They are also the largest species of domesticated hamster. Their average length is 12 to 13 centimetres, however some can be longer depending on genetics. Syrian hamsters are solitary, which means they must be kept alone. After they're four weeks old, they should be separated. Keeping more than one hamster in the same cage can lead to fighting. These fights can lead to serious injuries or even death. Syrian hamsters are more prone to wet tail, which is a disease caused by a high amount of stress. It's more common in hamsters under 12 weeks, and sadly there is no cure and it can be fatal. Now let's talk about the Chinese hamster. Their lifespan is around 1.5 to 2 years, however some can live longer, around 2 to 3 years. The Chinese hamster has the longest tail out of the five hamster species. It can grow from 1 to 3 centimetres. Chinese hamsters are not mice, even though they have long tails. They are also not dwarf hamsters. Chinese hamsters are more prone to diabetes, so you'll need to be careful about how much fatty food you feed them. These hamsters are solitary. Next is the winter white Russian dwarf hamster. Their average lifespan is about 1-2 to two years, however some can live longer. Their average length is 8-10cm, to 10 centimeters, however some can grow to be longer. These hamsters have furry feet. They can be kept together, but it's not recommended and they shouldn't really be kept together. Now that may sound confusing, but let me explain. In the wild, hamsters mainly live in groups for reproduction and security. In captivity, there's no need for protection from predators. But once that aspect is removed, the only reason they would be kept together would be for reproduction purposes. But we don't want them to breed, so we house them in a pair that's the same sex. That means that this is not natural behaviour for them to engage in, because colonies or same-sex pairs would never be found in the wild. These animals also don't live together for the social aspect. Just like Syrian and Chinese hamsters, these hamsters can fight, which can be fatal. Another thing to consider is that if you're going to house two hamsters together, they'll need a much larger space. Regardless of the species, hamsters are territorial animals. If you have a cage that's over a thousand square inches, you're making sure that the pair come in contact on a day-to-day -day basis. This can increase your chances on having a successful pair. However, at the end of the day, you're just forcing these animals to interact with each other. This is because if they had more room, there's a high likelihood that they would have fallen out. Dominance battles can occur on a regular basis, and these can be stressful. And as we already know, stress is not good for hamsters. For these reasons, I would not recommend housing two dwarf hamsters together. Same as the Chinese hamster, winter white Russian dwarf hamsters are prone to diabetes. Out of the other dwarf hamsters, this hamster's personality is quite calm. They're also the calmest out of the dwarf species. Not all hamsters are the same however, and some might be really energetic. This hamster's coat may also turn lighter in the winter time or produce whiter patches. Often they will turn completely white, including their dorsal stripe. This will usually happen when the days shorten. Now let's talk about the Campbell Russian Dwarf Hamster. Their average lifespan is about 1.5 to 2 years, however some can live longer. And their length is 10 to 12 centimetres, however some can grow to be larger. It also has furry feet. As I explained with the winter white Russian Dwarf Hamster, it's best that these hamsters are kept alone and not in pairs or groups. 
Next is the Roverowski dwarf hamster. Their average lifespan is about three to three and a half years, and their length is four to five centimeters. They are the smallest species of hamster. The same rules for housing apply as the previous two dwarf hamsters. It's best that they're kept alone to avoid any possible fights. This will eliminate a lot of stress in the long run. That's the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye!